Now I'll be doing a Tunisian full stitch. Now an all over repeat of Tunisian full stitch can be called a stitch pattern which is called the mesh stitch. That's an all over repeat of Tunisian full stitch. Now if you'll remember with the Tunisian knit stitch you went into the front and back vertical bars from front to back here under the rainbow or the inverted U and I cautioned you not to go between the rainbows here because that's a different stitch. That's the stitch you'll be te you'll be learning now. Tunisian full stitch and all over repeat is a Tunisian mesh stitch. Now we'll be going under the ver under the closing chain. So if a pattern indicates for you to stitch under the closing chain, that's what this will mean. Now because there are more there's one more closing chain here than there is actual stitches. This stitch pattern requires a two row repeat in order to avoid the increase of stitches and I'll show you what I mean. So for the first stitch insert your hook under, make sure you don't go between those, that's a knit stitch, under the closing chain and pull up a loop. That's two, three, four, make sure you pull up all the way up, five, you don't want the stitch to just sit here in the front, that'll make it too tight, pull it all the way up, six, if you want to you can just hold it there so that you know you're not pulling it too tightly, eight, nine, now I'm going to skip this one here at the end and I'm going to work into the last stitch, making sure these two bars are on the outside here. Yarn over and pull a loop through and we have ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And remember we worked into the first but we skipped the last. Now do a typical closing, chain one for the first one, then yarn over and pull through two for each remaining. Pull through two and two and two and again and again until you have one loop remaining on your hook. Now we'll begin row two of this particular stitch pattern. Again we have to have two in order to keep our stitches. If we just continue doing exactly the same thing, this would start biasing, which means it would start shifting. Now you may want a trapezoid shape and if you do, continue doing the same thing. If you just want a straight piece, then you will skip that first chain and go under the next one. Two, three, four, five, six, again pull up those loops. I know it's it's tempting to just insert your hook and just leave it there but no nope, pull it up. Seven, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now for the last one, remember we skipped the first one so I'm going to work into the last one and then I'll make my last stitch. Now typical closing, chain one, then you'll yarn over and pull through two, pull through two, and again, and again, all the way across, pull through two, and again, all the way, pull through two, you'll end with one loop on your hook. That is the second row of the stitch pattern. Now to begin the next row you're going to go back to what you did down here. Insert your hook into the space and it's wide open now. And then continue across and you'll skip the last one just like you did before. 
and it's called a mesh stitch because it does sort of look like chain mail when you get it finished.